Next story is about three area fishermen who have gone big time. Most folks these days have heard of noodling or grabbling. It's the art of capturing monster catfish with your bare hands. Well, tonight, Animal Planet premieres a three-part miniseries called Catfish and Kings, pitting eight teams, including some of the best noodlers in the country, in a bracket-style competition. Three men from Cleveland make up Team Tennessee. Calvin Z tells us the story of Heath Jordan, Wade Gladson, and Eric Almy. <laughs> You got him with your hand. <laughs> He's right there, though. I won't get him. Welcome to a Catfish Kings practice session on Chickamauga Lake, the home field for Heath Jordan and Wade Gladson. Get some air. Along with Eric Almy behind the camera, these men have spent years perfecting the ancient art of noodling for catfish. We can only imagine the scene underneath the murky waters as Wade struggles to get his hand in the mouth of a beast. Got him? Bear hug him, bear hug him. Oh, good God. This monstrous flathead catfish is a routine catch for Team Tennessee, who hopes their skills will put them on top of the catfish kings. Yeah, the tournament was hosted on a lake in Texas, so it was a, a fair shake for everybody involved. Nobody had been there before, uh, nobody knew where to go. Fish is coming. My hands are in mouth. Hold on to him, hold on to him, hold on to him. The winner of each bracket was determined by the biggest fish. Look at them two fish. If Team Tennessee wins it all, what do they get? Fame and women. <laughs> 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 now, the, uh, the, the tournament prize was the Catfish Cup. It's a trophy. But the Catfish Cup and the associated bragging rights are hard earned. When you watch tonight, just remember that sometimes the catfish win. Oh, you kidding? I thought you had all that to do. No! <laughs> uh, I think I'll leave that to the Catfish and Kings. Calvin Seed with that report. The first episode of Catfish Kings airs tonight at 10 p.m. on the Animal Planet, and we'll be rooting for Team Tennessee.